Hello everybody, welcome back to another EverCrisis video. It's me, your boy Time Rocker, gonna help you out here with some good info. This is primarily aimed at brand new players to this game if you're new. Uh, and I'm kind of here to help you out, kind of give you a good head start on what you should be doing as soon as you start playing the game and your goals as soon as you go. So I started a brand new account uh, just yesterday, in fact, less than 24 hours now. Uh, no, about 24 hours. Um, and and I've it's been a while since I've done it, and so I, as I was kind of opening and starting to go through things again, I was like, man, I got to do this. Man, I got to make sure I can do this. It made me realize, boy, these are things that you need to know as a new player, what you want to start doing ASAP, because it's really going to help grow your account as fast as possible. So I'm going to go over a couple things here real quick on what I would recommend on how you should start and, and what you should do to progress as quickly as you can in your account. So first and foremost, number one thing is attack the story the story is where you're going to unlock everything and this is where your main focus needs to be first and foremost no matter when you are starting the game this is what you need to be doing you can't do a lot of content in this game because or, uh, until you unlock story and, and do things in the story you know first you have to do ff7 then you do crisis core and then you do first soldier so you're gonna have to go through these before you do a lot of things in the game so if you want to unlock solo you want to do co-op events all kinds of stuff that's where your focus needs to be. So go through that as much as you can. You can skip it, do whatever you need, but it doesn't cost any stamina. So don't feel like, you know, your stamina is rushed down. And that's kind of where the, my next point of uh, point comes in is once you start unlocking things to do, you're going to start getting, you're going to start be able to use this stamina. And if you played any gotcha game before, you kind of probably already have an idea about stamina. But if, if it's a little bit new to you because you haven't or not this style of gotcha, like you've played Genshin where there is no stamina, then what you're going to want to probably start doing is find ways to use this stamina as much as you can. Because what's going to happen is every time you level up, you're going to gain the max amount on the following level. So right now my max is 135. I think my next level is going to be 138. I think and so what's going to happen is it's going to add 138 as soon as I get another account level so that's going to be really really big and so every you know you're going to want to do things I usually recommend if you can it'll tell you when you first pop up to unlock events events are time limited things so these are probably where you want to spend most of your stamina is coming to events do these events as much as you can because you only have so much time to do them and as a new player there's going to be a lot of things in here you're going to want to grab primarily free weapons so getting free weapons in this game is huge. They're big help, especially to new accounts. So you're going to want to focus on that. The next thing kind of involves the stamina in a sense, but, and I didn't even realize this till I started making this new account and I was equipping my characters and stuff. I was like, oh boy, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, gnarly that I couldn't do what I thought. So what I would, I recommend doing is get up to player level 15 as fast as possible. So right now you can see I'm at level 20. You want to get to 15. 15 is where things really start cooking. You want to cook? That's where you That's where you go. 15 is the kitchen, man. So what happens here at 15 is if you come over here to any character and you go to sub equipment, 15 unlocks the final slot here for your sub weapon. And these sub weapon slots are pivotal for increasing your character's stats and big damage. At level 10, you're going to unlock this one here. Level 5, you're going to get the first one. So you get 5, 10, 15. So having all three of them unlocked is really going to boost your power and really may allow you to start doing things with your account that you might be struggling with beforehand because you're going to be able to get other weapons. You're going to equip them in here. The next thing I would say to focus on once you start unlocking this stuff is I would say start pumping out synthesis. If you don't understand synthesis, that's okay. Don't worry about it too much. But you're going to have the synthesis page right here. And this is where once you unlock this, you're going to want to start pumping out a bunch of synthesis and making materia because these things take time. So the faster you get this going and moving, the more again, the faster you're going to be able to advance your account because you're going to get some materia you can use in different places and what you're going to need. At the very beginning of the game, it only starts with two slots. I highly recommend you just spend the crystals, open up the rest of the three of the other three slots. Um, if you're feeling comfortable, if you're quite if you don't quite get it or you don't feel comfortable, that's OK. I would say open up another one, at least get to three, kind of understand how it works. And once you understand synthesis and how it operates and where to get the synthesis mats and all that and the materials go, OK, I, I, I have an understanding. Go ahead and unlock the other two. This way you can always try to keep synthesis going 24 seven. So synthesis, 
is a big thing. Materia is huge in this game. It's where you're going to get a lot of extra bonus stats outside of your weapons. So it's a huge thing you're going to want to focus on. The next one, it's kind of small, but it, it's a thing that adds up over time, and it's the chocobos. Right, so the chocobos here, when you first start off, uh, once it loads, this, this, this screen always takes forever to load. I don't know why it does. Come on, let's go. Aerith, just load for me. Come on, girl. Okay, I need like Jeopardy music there. So when you first come in here, you're going to go to the chocobo exhibition. You're not going to even have a chocobo, right? Or you might get one. You get one for free. I'm sorry. You get a really cruddy one for free. I think it's this H1 back here I have. So you're going to only have one available chocobo slot here to put in, or maybe you have two. I think I had, I'm sorry. I think I had two when I started. So you're going to want to unlock the other one over here, I would say, right away. So unlock that chocobo. And then pretty fast, you should actually already have, I think you start off with about 100 chocobo coins or so, or about 500. So you're going to want to come in here, and I would just, I think it's 100 you start with. Go ahead and just buy up a chocobo, or buy buy a cheap chocobo, right? If you start with one, you want to get two fives. If that's in here, fine. Get 100, and then get a five real quick after. Just get these chocobos in here, and get them, get them moving. You know, get these chocobos moving. Because these chocobos will bring in items and things like that. They'll start giving you some gems from uh, accomplishing different missions. So you want to start doing that right away. And the little thing, too, there's always going to be a little... Um, a little chest over here you're always going to want to focus on getting it just pops up once a day sometimes you get really cool stuff in it sometimes i've had like 50 gems pop up or crystals other times i've gotten like 100 gil and that's like chump change that's nothing you don't need that so when yeah when you guys are starting a new account um and the things that you want to focus on first thing you know so again focus on story you're going to have missions over here as well so right now i have campaign missions so if you see these campaigns going on i would highly recommend going after these because again anything limited you want to try to get because you only have so much time and usually those are very valuable things things like you know if it's required like the battle tower this is always going to be here right you only only do it when the game asks you to do it right so stats always going to be there story quests always going to be here dungeons are always going to be here you know enhancement quests are always going to be here but events aren't always going to be here as well as the the um the campaign events right the campaign items so you want to get those and then there's also sometimes in here you might see free draws uh we just recently had an event where you could get free draws uh, every single day so you want to take advantage of those unfortunately this account missed all that so I, I only got the one free one here that was on this step up thing but that's okay you know you got to start somewhere and it's better to start now than later that more or less wraps up what I would focus on as soon as you guys start the game. So again, I'll just kind of reiterate here. So number one, story, story, story. That That is the most important part of the game. Attack the heck out of the story because that's where you're going to unlock all the stuff that you can do, especially events because you need to unlock events right away. And then that's the second thing I said, focus on events. Use that stamina up, get that stamina, focus on events, get up to level 15 as fast as you can on your account. That way you can grow and grow and grow and that'll make you do more damage you'll be stronger you'll clear more content then you got to go after the synthesis for the materials unlock that get comfortable with it and then start start pumping those materials out start making synthesis i want you know this you want that you want to be a factory in there you want to have constant flow and then you know then then the chocobos campaign missions for the tickets gems whatever you might else have with that yeah that pretty much covers it and i will see you guys on the next one peace Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.